Okay. Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Right out of the gates, I am recording. I have not been up long, probably less than five minutes. Um, okay, let me try to gather my thoughts. So, the incident that happened why I quit Facebook, it... The universe challenged me to see if I was really a light being. To see if I would continue to do my great work to do this mission that I was sent here to do by the aliens. What do I mean? Star seeds, they all want the same one. They are after one goal. The one tribe. Uh, with that being said, even after that trauma, this person knew what to say to crush my ego. The universe tested me and I pushed over this this blight, this um this trauma. I came out of the hole and what and after the light arrow incident my dragon magic, my power, is stronger now. It is as, it feels like I have awakened something. Maybe the Kundalina that was dormant, did it stir? Did I somehow manage to wake that up? My question is probably yes, but how, I don't know. But I did wake something up. Because a few, a few nights ago, and even now sometimes, I feel my aura is very warm, hot almost. Um, no, it, it is hot, but at the same time, it's like very pleasing, like a, a warm bath uh, type of, a type of feeling. And it's all throughout my body. Well, it occurs the most is the hands. I can feel them very warm when I focus on the, the whatever I focus on, be it aura or the Kundalina or just in the trance, whatever my mind focuses on to that effect, to feel that warmth. But I know my power grows from after the light arrow, after that incident, uh, from that made me quit Facebook, um, that incident, and then the light arrow happened like three weeks later or whatever. I, I know I, I posted on, on a blog post to get all my anger out from that trauma to that person What happened was he jumped to the wrong conclusions, blocked me before I could say anything because I was AFK and I was distracted the whole morning and my thoughts were on something else. So he was seeing what I was posting apparently since he only commented on the first one I made and then I made like six other posts, uh, seven other posts, um, 
and he took it as, okay, she is distracted, she's not focused on what I am saying to her, she is just saying one word replies, I am not happy about this, so I am going to take that as she is evil, she is demonic, her actions are demonic, and I am going to block her before she can tell me otherwise, before she gets the chance to explain herself. I should have told him what was going on in my mind, what I was thinking, what I was feeling, because I was out of it for like that whole day and the night before. And I thought maybe since he read my photo once that he is a real empath and would know what I am feeling because he did this once before. He felt I, okay, I said something, and then as time went on, I was spiraling downward out of control, and he, I told him that what I was feeling at that time, and he said, well, before I, I felt this when you said something before it happened, so, so I was like, okay, maybe he will ask me what is going on in my mind, but he didn't. Instead, it escalated out of control. And I was thinking about going back, telling him what really happened, since he could look back into the past and see, um, to see certain pictures, like, uh, details. Uh, details to know what was going on, like the emotion for one. And I was like, okay, maybe I should go back and tell him what happened. I did this, except I blocked him and then I deactivated because I was too much in pain, didn't want to stick around. I told him if he wanted to message me, he knows how. He never did. He never. Uh, messaged me through my website or contacted me on YouTube. I guess he he doesn't email and doesn't uh, doesn't have a YouTube account. So yeah. So I continued to wait, and just then I was wondering. Okay, so I'm over the pain. Should I go back? But my doubt is telling me no. He was the one to jump to the conclusions. He was the one who was angry. He was the one who exaggerated. And I was like, you know what? It's not worth it going back to tell him what really happened. To tell him, you know what? I screwed up. Okay, this is my fault. That why you jumped to the conclusion of that because I did not tell you I was lesson out at my ex-friend who happened to be a real demon and for whatever reason you thought I was talking about you when I wasn't and it escalated out of control and I should have told you that I was not feeling myself for two days. I should have told you what was on my mind but as usual I kept it hidden and thought maybe since you were an, an empath, you would ask me what I was feeling, what I was, what was on my mind, but you never did. And it just escalated out of pure insanity. It threw me off. It, it devastated me, but even after that, even after thinking, you know what, maybe Maybe I am a demon. No, turns out there was no damn way that I am a demon. I have angel wings on me. Uh, there was a photo that I took uh, through a series of four photos, maybe five. The wings are there in the background. Like, you can really see that if I inver inverted 
the photo. And through those five photos, or how many I made, the winds are constantly there in every single shot. I feel my winds. I felt the dragon since little. The dragon has always been there throughout my whole life, basically. And now you're trying to tell me otherwise. First you tell me that I am this angel, and then the last thing I hear is, no, you're a de demon who showed me all her demonic traits. And I was like, I looked back through the messages, what the hell? Are you, are you drunk? Because there was no demonic behavior that I showed you. You're, you are exaggerated. You are being sarcastic. Like, really, what demonic thing did I do other than you jumped to the conclusion of I was talking about you when I was talking about someone else? I said this person told me he was scared of me, scared of my light. He did not like me being a light worker. So, and he told me he did not want me to find him again, to reconnect. I took that as he is hiding from me. He is scaled of me. So I took that as, you know what? He is the demon. I was fooled this whole time. Let me get this out of my system. I wrote all those posts and for whatever reason, you thought I was talking about you when I was talking about the other person. You jumped to the conclusion that I was calling you a demon when, in fact, I was not. Is That is the only thing that I could see that was, quote, demonic thinking, demonic behavior. Calling someone out for what they are is not demonic. He misunderstood the whole thing. If it's because I was out of my mind, and did not tell him, you know what, you know what, I don't really want to conversate with you today. I'm not feeling it. I was the one word responses, except then before that morning, uh, in the morning when we woke up, well, he woke up, I was already awake. So, um, I gave like a one sentence reply, like, and then sometimes I would say yes or a three-word response or something else. What I saw was what I was continuing for that whole entire week of what? Listening. I was paying attention to what he was saying. Is that demonic? No. You are exaggerating. Was it because my group failed before I remembered the do not help everyone, do not help the demons, do not love the demons? For me, when I created the group, this is before I met this person, so the group had a different view at that time. When he came around, showed me this insight, I changed it. But he felt I, well, he said something, I took it as an insult, but he said, uh, no, no, your group didn't fail because it led us to each other. But then he said something else the next day, and I took it as more insults. I didn't tell him what I was feeling. I kept this from him. So since he said something that was, quote, you let all the demons in, your group failed, let me create my own group, make you the admin to continue your work. But the way he said it, I felt insulted. And I took that as the demonic behavior that he said I made. Because that was the last thing that I could find that made him unsure about me or something. But even then, since he said he was going to make a new group, 
make me the admin so I can continue the work to prevent the negative trolls from even going into the group in the first place. Yes, I, I failed at that. I admit that. Because at that time, it was all about who wants the information. Then it, it, it changed and he wanted to make a new group, restart it from the ground up to prevent the trolls from getting in the first place. So technically, that was not a demonic behavior since he analyzed it as that. Well, I analyzed it in that way. So once again, he is exaggerating my demonic behaviors. I can't find anything that would make me out to be this poser. I am not a poser of the light. I chose the light. I point people to the light. I, I do all these things that tell me I am an angel. I am a light being. And he's like, you know what? I made a mistake. You're a demon. But I read you as this angel, this light being. And... You're not a demon when I first met you. Then, all of a sudden, he changed his mind and called me a demon. Called me evil. I showed the whole story on the blog. I've been wanting to get that out of my system on video. Finally did it. It feels really good. And I'm still pushing towards the mission. You trying to tell me that I am not one of the 1,000? You, sir, are making a mistake. You exaggerated this whole thing. And from that one incident, that one event, you make me out to be something I am not. From before, you were like, You're, you are this, this great star seed. You are this light being. And then... Because of that one event, you changed your mind, exaggerated, and said I was being a demon this whole entire time. Are you high as fuck? Because I looked back. What do I see? I don't see any demonic behavior. All I see was paying attention. Yes compelled to your paragraphs and my one sentence or two or three word responses, that is not demonic since I was listening and paying attention. You made it out to be something that it was not. Your anger got the better of you because you were not getting your way because I did not get to your high standards and go with that. So you make me out to be something I am not. You forced yourself to see it like that because you lost out in your anger and had no patience. That's what I see. And from that, that is a sheep. That is demonic, not me. And you're trying to tell me otherwise. No. You tried to crush my ego. You tried to make me stop doing light worker things, the mission at hand that every light worker is doing right now or been doing for, for years and you're trying to make me stop because you tried to make me feel that I was a demon this whole entire time from my whole life? No, I'm not going to, to stop being a light worker because you tried to force me to think I am a demon. If I was a demon, you would have known the very minute of talking to me, reading my aura, reading that photo as an empath. You would have freaking known I was a demon that very moment and instead you told me the opposite. What does that tell me? 
you were upset, okay? You were lashing out because I was distracted, didn't tell you what I was feeling, didn't tell you anything, and you jumped to the wrong conclusion. Would I go back to tell him this? No. <laughs> There's no point. Why would I go back to and tell him the whole story? Or tell him, hey, since you can go into my, jump into my head and see my memories, why don't you just do that? Jump into my head, see the memories for yourself, see what I saw at that moment to know what I was thinking, to know that it was not about you, it was about the demon as a friend I had for freaking how many years, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm still pissed. Okay, I, I'm still pissed. I, but, I'm pissed at the event, not at him, at what happened. There is a big difference. Maybe he will see this, maybe an alien will, I don't know. Because I, I don't know. The, the tech is there, what if an alien can time jump? What if all reincarnations is time travel? We just don't know. We don't remember. So I'm like, okay, you know what? What if this life is being recorded? Well, here's the fucking evidence, you know? Like, look at the life from day one to this moment and you will find that I am not a demon. There was no fucking way. The evidence is there in the life itself. If I am judged, I judge myself and say, hey, you know what, I'm still doing the mission, I'm still waking people up, I'm still doing the thing I was sent here to do. Therefore, I can't be a demon. Demons can't pose as the real light workers. They can try, but they are cons. They will lie to you, trick you, as the devil will. Do you see me conning people? No, I can't do it. I can't lie. Demons lie. Angels do not. And as I am getting worked up, I can feel the, the that warmth I was talking about, how it's hotter now. My wings are, are back. They are back. My My dragon magic is hotter now more powerful, more potent, and you're trying to tell me that I am making all this up that you said I was in the first place? No. I mean, what? Th that's impossible. First you said this, that I was this, and then in the end, you're like, no, no, you were a demon the whole time. Sir, you're insane. I don't know what else to say. You're, 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 what? You were high as fuck? Because... You told me that I was not a demon, and then you changed it because of that one incident. The evidence is there. Look at it. Should I? No. I d what is the point of me going back to him to tell him this, what I've been going on about right now? There is no point in going back to tell him everything the real truth, the what I kept from him, that I should have told him in the first place. There is no point in going back. My doubt tells me no. My anger tells me no. And yet, something else tells me, fix the mistake. Fix it before it is too late. I don't know. I'm not over it. I, I just need to pro process this more. I'm angry at the event, not at him and not at myself, because I am punching the universe saying, you know what, I am still doing the thing I am here for to do. Whoops. <laughs> I accidentally hit my space bar and it stopped recording, thankfully. Uh, yeah, so this is like part, great. So, yeah, I'm...
part two. <laughs> I am not a demon. I am still here doing the thing I was sent here to do. And you're trying to tell me otherwise? Go, you're crazy. Are you high as fuck? Are you drunk? Because you told me I was an angel. Then you told me, no, you were a demon the whole time. You're crazy. Okay, you're... You make no sense, okay? Me? I'm still doing the thing I'm here to do. You just can't put me down. The demons tried to kill me many times, okay? The trolls, the actual spirits, possession... No, correction, that thing attached itself to my aura that- No, no, I call it as possession. Yeah. The devil had his claws in me. I broke free. Okay. I walked into, um, uh, knowing about Lucifer, knowing about the real light, knowing about, you know what? I went before the Bible, okay? I went before it. What did I find? Pantheons, paganism, Wicca, etc. I chose that, not the Bible. I chose the light, not the devil, not demons. I broke free of the demonic grasp that was trying to kill me this whole time because Somehow, they could see through me what I would become. They, the darkness, the demons, tried to stop me from being a light worker, from being a real angel. What happened? That fueled me even more. They tried to hinder me. They failed. Instead, they pushed me to become what I would become. They helped me without realizing it. They destroyed themselves by helping me. And you're trying to tell me otherwise? Go, you're crazy. No. You're, you're insane. You're drunk and you're high as fuck. Because what you said in the beginning does not match what you felt in the end. I wouldn't know. I might not be in the Vogel family, but maybe I am someone who you sent down here, you idiot. But you don't remember. We were stuck down here for a thousand years. Maybe I was sent from the fields here. Who knows? What I know is there was a great mission to find the other people who want this knowledge who would soak it up, who are not demons. We are trying to find those people, to help them, to awaken them further. Reach Godhead. That is the mission. Reach Godhead. Find those people. Find the real believers in the Anunnaki. Find them. That is the mission. And you're trying to tell me to stop? No. That I'm a demon? No. There's no way. By demon, I would not be doing the mission that I am here to do. All light workers are doing the thing they are sent here to do. They don't remember. Somehow I woke up to know the real thing. The real, ooh, I know, is this word, Illuminati. What if the real Illuminati is to illuminate the world, to know, hey, the Anunnaki were real, the gods are real, they walk among us, but they are hidden in plain sight. They were the inventors the whole time. Humans did nothing except what? Raise the crime rate. Think about that for a moment. And you're trying to tell me otherwise? Go, you're insane. You're crazy. I woke up, I know things that no one else knows. 
And you're trying to tell me otherwise? That I'm a demon? How would a demon know those things that I know, that I feel? A demon would know he's a demon. Because demons crave to harm others, others, not illuminate them. What if the real Illuminati is to tell the world, hey, the gods are real, everything you know is a lie, the Bible is a lie, do not believe it. It was a cover story. What if? You know, what if? Because this goes back to, okay, what is the Bible based on? Think about that for a moment, because we know the gods came before the Bible, therefore the Bible came after something happened. That book is a book of lies. It tries to enslave you. Oh, call me an alien theorist? No, what if the theorists are talking about real events? It's not theory. It is real. It did happen. What if? But no one believes us. The masses don't. Because they're already dead. By dead, I mean asleep. Stuck in the 3D matrix of this world. Stuck on 3D, can't even reach 5D, can't even go to 9D. And you're trying to tell me otherwise that I'm a demon? Would a demon spread real knowledge without conning anyone? Hell no. A demon doesn't care. They trick you away from the light. They trick you away from your power. They tell you to not embrace yourself. To not embrace what you are. To not embrace your power, your magic. Why do you think the witch trials happened? To shut us down. To prevent us from learning our real magic, our real power. To enslave us. Well, it failed because Wigga is still a thing today. And oh my god, I am charged, man. Just, I am pumped. Part 2 and I am gone crazy more even more. And you're trying to tell me I'm a freaking demon? Nope. You're dead wrong. If you are watching this, you know what I feel, man. You would know. The aliens would know. Because what if this life is being recorded? And then you can see every freaking event. And then you can make up your own mind. But I'm no demon. I'm telling the world that the gods are real. That... To love yourself, to empower yourself, to know the real truth. Make up your own mind. Do not be in the crowd. Do not follow people, but your own self. Follow your own soul. To wake up and to know who you are, to know what you are, your power, etc. And you're trying to tell me that I trick them? No. I know I was not very clear on t to say, hey, do not love everyone. Do not help everyone. All I said was, trust the vibration you would know. Read in between my lines. In for deeper. Keyword, deeper. My soul knows, your soul knows, somehow we all know. But you have to walk through that door. Open up that lock. Trust your own thought. Know your own thought. Do not follow the crowd. And they're trying to tell me that I'm a demon. What, a demon tell you everything in this video? Nope. I know, Khan. You're insane. Go, you're crazy. Trying to tell me otherwise. You must have been high as fuck and on drugs. I mean booze, not drugs. B booze. But, yeah, I feel charged. I feel more powerful than, than ever. And you're trying to tell me that 
otherwise? No, I'm no Palladian demon. Heck, I don't even feel I came from the Palladians, to be honest. No, oh, I kind of aligned more with Syria. I accidentally Orion, probably, uh... The real kicker is accidentally Planet Nibiru. Planet X. The stories that were based on what? The home planet from 9D. And you're trying to tell me that? No. No, I don't even feel I am from the Pleiades. Uh, no, I'm no Pleiadian demon. If that were true, if I was not innocent, may a vampire cop come after me? Oh, wait. That never happened. I wonder why. <laughs> vampire cop. Wait, wait a minute. Isn't there a movie that that is a scene? A cop is a vampire? I s well, I've, I've seen a movie like that before. I don't know. No, I'm probably... Oh. No, I'm probably thinking of Blade. Okay. No, no, no. No. There was a vampire who was a cop who, um, who had to kill his people. And he was the, the kill. But I don't remember the, uh, the, the movie title. Okay, so there is a vampire cop. Well then. Um. Yeah. I had to get. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. Uh, great, it's in two parts. <sighs> Good thing I have. Cyberlink Power Director because my hit film is still messed up. It keeps giving me ever when trying to export anything and would cross randomly. I tried to uninstall it once, but maybe I didn't un uninstall the whole thing. I'll go back further uh, to um, an older version and try that. I did once, but it didn't solve it. Then it updated. I installed the update, then it fixed it. I will try to fix it because I've been without it for uh, months. As to why I have not been doing the auto level fix for the cam. Uh, for the video, um, and not been using the audio fixes at the boost levels, I mean, uh, hopefully I can fix that program. Until we meet again, Light Beans. <laughs>